So this is a Hamilton grandfather clock and it plays Westminster chimes. I already got the nut and the minute hand off, but I just wanted to show you something. The hour hand just drops. So in order to figure out what's going on, there are four screws that I'm going to take off and um, that way I could see the movement. So I'm going to do that right now off camera. And I did not know this about this clock, or if I did, I forgot. It has a removable hood on it. As I was taking the screws off, the hood was moving on me. Most antique grandpa clocks have removable hoods. And then the vintage grandfather clocks, not all of them have removable hoods, but they have side doors that you can access the movement. But let me take this hood off along with the dial. In this case, there's a simple fix. The hand wasn't pushed on all the way. I thought that maybe the, um, the clip that holds the intermediate wheel, I thought it had came off, but I was wrong. Anyway, um, once you push the hand on all the way, it'll stay on. But now that I have this off, I need to make a special video for uh, Lori. Lori um, is somebody I know who uh, takes care of my glasses. But let me move some stuff out of the way. Lori, if your clock that your daughter bought you, if it has a removable hood, just take the hood off. It should slide right off if it has one. Because it was made in Germany, more than likely it has a removable hood. Now, I got a B amplifier hooked up to this, and you can hear the even tick tock. This clock is one of the clocks that I wind all the time. But, Lori, what you want to do is take the pendulum off the suspension, uh, leader suspension. And this right here, Lori, is a leader suspension. There's the uh, uh, the catch that the pendulum hangs on at the bottom of this thing. So I'm going to take it off. And you just want to be really careful that you don't force anything. And when you take that pendulum off... That suspension leader, which is connected to the verge and crutch assembly that I was telling you about, should tip back and forth just like that. If it doesn't tick back and forth like this, I was telling you that an arm comes out of the movement. This here is the verge and it's rocking back and forth on the teeth as I was telling you and all you have to do is grab a hold of the what's known as a crutch assembly which comes off the verge and comes outside the movement and it's in a it's got it's got a clutch system on it so you push it to the left or push it to the right that is not in B. Just go small increments until you get it to do that. If you can't get it to do that, you might have other issues going on with your clock. Um, because the lady sold it and got a different one, she probably had issues going on with it. And like I said, there's bushings. And each one of these pivot holes is 
um, the pivot goes into a hole which is called a bushing and if your bushing is wobbled is too too big of a hole or an oblong hole then the clock won't stay running this, by the way this clock is not in beat yet it doesn't have an even tick tock and this clock just so happens to have a nighttime set off lever but in order to access it you have to uh take the hood off so i'll never um do that there's a slot right here this movement uh, at one time had a nighttime set off lever on it or it could this movement could be used for different systems but it's not an even tick tock so you just adjust that you, you adjust that crutch assembly just in smaller increments until you get the even tick tock and again it's not quite there yet the, the thing should this thing should continue to uh, swing back and forth without the pendulum on um, and before you take the hood off and everything or take the face off Take the pendulum off, and I'm going to tilt this clock. And you want to be careful when you tilt the clock because the weights will damage the clock. I'm actually going to... See, with me tilting the clock, I can get that leader to swing. But once you once you have what you think is a is a good even TikTok, I sent you that video, and like I was telling you, take a piece of take a piece of blue tape, tape to the. Uh, Tape to the uh, bottom of the movement, put a mark where the center of the pendulum bob is, where the nut is, and then get the same amount of distance to the left and to the right when you hear the tick and talk, and the clock will be in beat. You could do that with shims if, uh, if uh, you want to do that, as we spoke about. So anyway, I'm gonna put the uh, I'm gonna put the pendulum back on, put the face back on, and look it back. Lori here, I have that piece of blue tape, and I got the black mark where, pretty close to where this uh, pendulum bob uh, nut is. And when I move the pendulum bob, it ticks there. And it ticks there. It ticks there. And it ticks there. Therefore, I need to adjust the crutch system on this. So it ticks to the left more and to the right less. A lot of times, even after you get the virgin crutch assembly swinging back and forth, when you add the pendulum because of the weight, you might have to adjust this some more. So I'm going to adjust it off camera. You can also adjust the system, Lori, by holding onto the birch and then push the, the crutch one way or the other. It ticks there. 
and it ticks there. And so that's pretty dang close. If you get it that close, you could always put a shim underneath the, the case. But the shim has to go all the way across the bottom of the case unless your clock has leaven lean screws. Like in this case, there's an arch right here. So I would have to, there's a foot here and there's a foot there. And I don't know whether they're, if they're leveling feet. So, but if your clock doesn't have a leveling feet, you want to make sure that it goes all the way across the width of the case. And then once you get it in beat, never move it. Because you would have to do the same thing. Like if you swept around the clock or mopped and you want to sweep or, uh, underneath the clock or mop or whatever, just don't ever move it. Now you can hear that. It's got an even tick tock. Now the hands, you always want to rotate your hands in a clockwise position. The hour hand, you can rotate to the left or to the right, but the minute hand, you always want to rotate it in a clockwise position. I don't know what time it is or whatever, so we're gonna and I put it in the hour position. It struck two o'clock. On a quarter past the hour, these are gonna go in a row. One, two, three, four. And if it's not doing that, your clock needs some adjustments. see it went from the rear some go from the front to the rear but in this case it went one two three four then on the half hour it's going to play eight and then on the three quarters of the hour it's going to play 12 then on the hour it's going to play the full thing let me put the uh Let me put the hands, uh, the face and the hands and everything back on this. The reason why the hour hand is slipping because the board that these screws screw to is loose. So I gotta fix that. Another thing I gotta fix. So I put the hood in my couch so it'd be safe. And when I put it down, the glass fell, and now it's broke. So something else I get to uh, fix. You know, it seems like every time I uh, go to do these YouTube videos, and I do these YouTube videos to help people out, I tear up one of my clocks. Uh, just, I did everything right, other than... You know, I didn't stand it up straight. I did everything right. I put it in a safe place. And because it wasn't secured in the hood, it fell and broke. If that's not worth a subscribe and like and comment, I don't know what is. Again, always uh, rotate the minute hand in a clockwise position. And you should wait for each strike. And what you can do, see, put it on the hour. You find out what it strikes. We'll see it strikes five o'clock. 
and it's six o'clock. Instead of rotating the hands all the way around, just wait until five o'clock to start up your clock. Uh, I could do that now since the glass broke. As you can hear, it was in beat. It's in beat. Um, carefully, Lori, when you wind up the chains, carefully pull one chain at a time. You don't want to go fast because if you go fast, you know, you don't know the person that has a clock before you. If you go fast, the part that uh, the chain hooks to, it could come unscrewed and drop in your case. I had one that just recently did that. But um, anyway, I hope you all like this video. Lori, I hope this helps you out. Again, leave me comments, subscribe. Uh, give me a, a thumbs up. I mean, God bless each and every one of you.